I'm Vita Chambers, and I wanted to introduce you to Jimmy Keegan, who is working with me on a new project, um, Kings of Love. Um, I think before we get into Kings of Love, I want to let Jimmy introduce himself and let the world know <laughs> who you are. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm the director of this uh, Kings of Love project, which is... Um, Something that came about when I contacted Vita uh, about doing some work together. I didn't know what we were going to do, but <laughs> I knew that uh, I wanted to work with her. So um, she actually sent me over about five different songs. Uh, she was just very, very rough cuts. Very uh, rough. Very rough. <laughs> well, they still sounded great. But anyway, <laughs> she sent those over to me, and one in particular stuck out and really spoke to me, and that was um, Kings of Love. So I got to work real quick. I kind of jumped the gun on it and wrote out a, a treatment for it and sent it over to her. And she um, she didn't go for that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, but, yeah. we, uh, but we ended up uh, getting together anyway. We wanted to talk more about the project. And she liked, I guess, uh, my approach anyway. So she had a different idea altogether. And she wanted to do something with a war scene. And that was right up my alley, believe it or not, because I really wanted to do something with action. It all worked out. Yes. Um, so what I ended up doing is uh, I went back to work, started writing up a treatment, turned her idea into an actual linear story. I originally didn't plan to make it a linear story, but <laughs> I just started writing. That's why I love the writing process. I started writing and one idea flowed into the next, into the next, and I had a story. So we got together again and presented that, and um, I think you were happy. I absolutely. Um, it's funny because when I first wrote the song and I first was, you know, in the process of coming up with concepts, and usually when I write, I can sometimes see the music video, and I'm very visual, like with with um, with my writing. So I see. I see what I want to do, I see, I get inspired by a lot of different things. Um, I saw a war scene, um, so it was great when you said that that's been something you wanted to go after and you want something you wanted to film, so it meshed beautifully and everything came together. And um, yeah, I wrote the song two years ago, which is funny, with a guy named Mark Pelly. He um, has done so many of my songs on my album. Um, coming up and yeah so it, it really meshed well together mm -hmm. karma yeah and I, I love the fact that it actually turned into more of a short film than just a music video which, yeah it's, yeah. it's definitely something new for me I and I will say this Jimmy has been the most professional <laughs> it's so because like professional in the sense that you like literally laid it out step by step I remember you gave me um shot list mm -hmm. and it was the different times and I was like wow never seen this before <laughs> I was like this is, a, this is like a movie <laughs> um so I'm very excited for when we shoot this it's gonna be great that's the thing too I mean I think uh I try to keep my process um fairly pragmatic um but you know I do have you know, the idea that I want to work with things and, and just work with in a very organic way with whatever I do. Mm -hmm. So normally I do work on film type projects. Right. Um, I'm, I'm and I guess, an aspiring director for the, for the big, I guess, Hollywood scene. But mm -hmm. um, I do work in the industry, um, but not on that large scale level. I do behind the scenes filming. Yeah, wait till they see this one. Yeah. Well, just hopefully. wait. <laughs> yeah so normally normally it's smaller behind the scenes type jobs but I get to see what happens I watch the process every day I yeah. use the process in 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 my short films and music videos mm -hmm. and the other types of work I do yeah so um, I, I enjoy it it just takes a stress away because when yeah. you do things in a in that way then Order. it frees up the mind and everything Absolutely. so you can actually be creative in the moment so although you're seeing all this, I just I want know. to say too, although you're seeing all this, but you're a little intimidating as well. I'm like, oh jeez.
But although the process seems very process oriented and whatever, I become yeah. very, the day of, it's mm -hmm. a lot like performing, you know, you do yeah. a lot of uh, um, prep work, prep work and, and rehearsals and everything else. Mm -hmm. and, and you critique the hell out of yourself before you do the show. But yeah. when the curtain drops and you're on stage, I'm sure it's the same in the film world. When you're actually going to go on a shoot day and you're taking uh, shots, you you got to leave all that behind you. It's true. You just kind of have to go and trust your instincts and trust your talent and trust all the experiences that have molded you into the artist and and entertainers. You know, I guess you would go under an entertainer as well in my mm -hmm. eyes.